going to be getting dark comes through. Maybe he's able to get one through the smoke. A sick able to grab two there with the Molotov and the Frenzy here. Just a reminder, still in the old meta. And now it's down to a three versus three. Sick. Okay, push through the cyber cage. Make noise as you do. That's fine. No fear. is going to be up on top of the boxes though and is able to dispatch him. And a 2v2. Mind you, we're in the post plant here. So Sentinels do need to get a, a uh, wiggle on. Fifo playing from logs. BCJ can play One off enemy. him there. We're left in a 1v1. There's so little health left for Fifo there. So Zoms is able to swing on through. And that's where you want to be as Sentinels, of course. You know, you're defending on this map. You know that you're going to be stretched. Sinatra posted up as he often is in Garage. We'll spot out some of this action. We did. Well, very quickly, he is cut down to size. Sentinels now know that there's going to be plenty of attention going to the C site. Dapper. Oh, turns those two players into Swiss cheese and XS. Really have nothing to work with now. A very quick start to this map is the Cypher Chips and Sick, who's been the man of the match so far, with a lot of damage. He's going to take down one early and still in a position to do some damage. I mean, of all things, a tripwire? Really? That's how your ship gets scuttled? Six able to find himself three, and oh, he was tempted. He wanted himself the Vandal, and that uh, just oozes confidence there as BCJ has to make something happen here, and he gets. He, because of the trip, able to watch flank and spawn here. Play together, give a free trade essentially here. Massive kill awful. from Sick right there, and it's unfortunate that XTAT wasn't ready to trade that kill together. Now it's 2v2. You're one kidding enemy me. Remaining. Okay, BCJ in a 1v1 now. You can hear the klaxoning starting to, to hasten. So Dapper knows that, you know, BCJ's been able to find a fairly comfortable post-plant scenario. Dapper doesn't need neural theft to know where his opponent is. And... Oh, okay, that's a shoulder, shoulder peek there. Now we're just going to see BCJ head for the hills. This is uh, cue the Benny Hill theme music here because Dapper, <laughs> Dapper is going to be denied what he so sorely desires. The frag on BCJ, the round is over, and, and Dapper still wants to try and get a, a gun out of the hands. He will it. are very compact uh, as an attacking side. Well, oh, Shazam will do that. Massive angle. Great angle from Shazam right there to be able to take a shot and get away. And now, even if they dash onto the site, he's got support. Smart dash away himself to get out of the site. B is not one of those sites where you need to just be holding it the whole time. You're able to give it up I mean, and I'm have space there. And now Sinatra saying, what did you say about Overwatch? As he comes in. <laughs> and grabs a quick double frag and BCJ trying to get a couple guns away here, but it's going to be a tough one before here unless he wants the highlight reel. I mean, yeah, Sentinels look for the trade, right? But XZ had three players, so that trade gets completely shut down. There's one kill, but that's all they're going to get. BCJ lays the spike down. We did contemplate the paranoia here as Sentinels now get Shazam in position as he's going to be playing from Connector. So this will have to be a quick hit now, maybe uh, instead of a, a dash across. Oh, I don't think Aaron was ready for that. Pure is still sat in the corner. 2v2 though, as Sentinels trade up in numbers and the Blade Storm is out. Oh dear, Pure nailed to the wall. Another for Shazam at the Sentinels. No, mm. oh, man, man, they make life <laughs> so hard for XZ there. It was a 4v2. Jordan, where XZ have to try and put something together shorthanded onto one of these bomb sites. Sinatra, okay, uncharacteristic miss. Pure there gets a stay of execution, and even, the, even the kill. Soms also. Okay, Stinger Nation up in the chat. Sick now. In the 1v3. Okay, well, I mean, this is going to be a tough one now. There's really no one presenting themselves as options for him and Pure. Shit! Okay. Cut for a second. through with this thing. Yuck! <laughs> I was wondering for corner. If they suspect Shazam is lurking, wow. they have to shoulder peek every opportunity. Eren, okay, getting aggressive. Showstopper in hand. Use the satchel charge. Doesn't find a kill, but I mean, okay, there was no way that Sinatra was ready for that. Good bit of aggression, good burst here from Exit. I know exactly where. Shazam, yeah, in a good position to catch oh, Six survives there. too on that drop there. And now he's in a good position backside. They're forced into the corners here and they have to win a fight. Damn, those smokes are so smart to film so you can see the feet. <laughs> the one way, he just puts together these one ways in a 2v2 situation. That's the that's the scary part about good jet players as well. Is that they always, they've always got a couple cloud bursts up there. It's such a good position where need, are they going to counter spam along the wall? Oh man, he gets caught in the open with his pants down there. If the smoke lasted a little longer, maybe it works in his favor. And now Pure dashed in and just looking so good with those knives on the entry. 
Finally, a, a early round advantage for uh, X set here, Mitch. And if you're X set right now, you need to consider this a one round. You need to lock this up. There is no reason to give any ground to Sentinels unnecessarily, but Zom's is able to take a tentative step onto the site. That's all, though. He doesn't realize. <gasps> Exit get behind Sentinels here. I don't think Dapper even realizes what's going on. And Dapper's playing with a judge. He is not equipped to deal with this sneak through garage. Sick eventually sort of whirls around and realizes that he's allowed uh, the cat to get amongst the pigeons, so to speak. <gasps> you just give Dapper a kill. Oh no, they didn't know we'd be there. Sat with a judge. It's almost unlosable. So now Dapper gets an upgrade on weapon, by the way, and not to mention the uh, the, the Cypher ultimate to give all that information. Now Exit are down a player. They've got to go big. Yeah, that started out as what looked like a good push there. Garage was just sick, just holding a solid off angle and shuts it down. I like the effort. Coming uh, a top, if not the top team. And right now, Sentinels, Jordan, are giving them all sorts of trouble. Yeah, Sentinels just is a solid game plan all around. Shazam just taking advantage of the frenzy with the running right there. And another just early round opening. It's just like, I don't want to be, I don't want to cop out and say it's just patch, but there's definitely something I to be mean. said about these pistols. It is, um, is Tokyo drift around the corner is ripping people's heads off. It's okay to say. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I, I, I got the pass then because that's a 5v2 with people just sliding around right there. Um, I'm glad they made the changes. That just gets very Call of Duty-esque for my... my uh, uh, Sick was literally love. sideways. Sideways yeah. getting that kill. Yeah, so... Initial D level stuff, my guy. Here's the plan, 5v2, anyway. 5v2, and they just... Yeah. <laughs> it just... It seems kind of corny, right? Like, we're just watching the distance. Just... <laughs> okay, yep, well, there you have it. Frenzies get the job that done. Seems like that was warm. And what's on in? And like many teams, exit, leave be under tech, uh, uh, undermanned, rather. But look at this, they wrap around. Oh! Poor Flash. Oh, the poor... Poor... Uh... oh, God, it's like a horror film. Sick, just clean. I mean, I know this is, I know this is, you know, against Stingers, but this is a little bit more exciting than your average end Yuko because the team you have to force up actually have decent weaponry, but. That is absolutely perfect from Sentinels. Yeah, that was a great smart play by Sentinels. Looks like they're playing really fundamentally sound so far. And we also see teams that want to double execute, like attacking teams that execute, they plant, and they play close plant and use some of that utility that they didn't spend to execute again. So they don't get caught in corners, in mollies and such. And, you know, TSM try and do that quite a lot, actually, with you know, by bringing the brimstone yeah. in, for yeah. example, with the extra smokes. Anyway, 4v2, <laughs> as we get back to the game. Uh, Sentinels I use the word scaling. We scale at scale while scaling, you know, that whole mm -hmm. thing. And uh, <laughs> they scaled, and now they're in the bomb site, and they progressed. So that that was kind of what we were referring to when I gave that uh, little diatribe there. <laughs> Middle of the game. Last half is of progressing with your team. Um, baiting is a big part of pro play. A lot of people say, oh, you baited, it's bad. But progressing into the bomb site and having good spacing is a form of baiting, and that's key. And Sentinels is giving you a nice little... Um, Play that right now. Yeah, it's a masterclass, I feel. Aaron able to find two here. I believe that was. Played so Look, we did it in a match, kind of thing. I... It's just like, all right, guys. Listen, I don't want to. I don't want to paint. I don't want to paint Sentinels in, in the wrong picture, but I do know Sinatra. Um... I mean, yeah. look, Xset have to make Sentinels respect them. I'm sorry. Like, that is that is uh, the simple truth of this of this series. Sick, there's going to push through a lot of map control for Sentinels here. They have C pretty much tied up. That hurts. Exactly that hurts so badly. There's the backstab attempt there. Pure is shut down. This also puts like a really strong post plant position in play now for Sentinels who already have the flank trip wired. Uh, Dapper's just going to rotate here through garage. <laughs> this is all but over. To run. And a Fury as well. Why not? Aaron trying. DCJ. The one versus four. With the Odin as well. Again, gonna try and trade some of that disrespect. Makes his way up a ramp, and I don't know if Wiki did. Doesn't quite know where to look, and he loses out. Dapper, just a little bit of health left, and the post plant is on. It's a 4v4. Dapper's just gonna sit in smoke for the time being, and Frenzies can get to work. Oh, didn't quite get in the smoke there. Even it up here. But Sinatra oh, actually gonna finally gonna get the kill, but too little, too late for. Uh... X set here, Swifo is too deep outside the bomb, and he's just gonna go for the save here. Get the go. Got nothing, nothing to work with, right? None of his utility except for the the fault line, ghost in hand. Not exactly a brawler's kind of weapon. And Sinatra, ab <laughs> 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 
This map has oh the the, the step across and the flash is gonna also come in. He might be able to get a second one versus Slick. Slick and he does. That's such a clean exit and ex uh, we'll see what the timing's like for we did. As you know, there, there's okay, so he doesn't peek that, so BCJ has to see this. Okay, and he does. I mean, BCJ gets another one here in the round. That shrouded step play in B main, backed up by the flashpoint early, is just such a nice little two piece. And this is when we talk about exit. Who, you know, we said they don't play individualistically, right? They play as a group. They don't really like the lurks play style. Something like that. Very simple. It's a buddy system in B. Creator opportunity. It's similar to like a jet flash and dash kind of situation. And Sentinels do get to move on to the B site here, but again, they're in a two v five and they're up against the wall. No plan. No time. Twifo. No worries. That'll be this time. Different part of the map, but it's the same dynamic duo. Ooh, You're in that. heaven. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that angle. His team really couldn't help him from behind right there. And now Sentinel is able to scale through heaven super easily. We did the last kind of line of defense here. Hopefully he could wrap around, get a kill, and delay for his teammates to rotate in here. And not able to Sinatra with the stinger. Mid-range wins a fight versus a phantom. Nothing more tilting during this patch and losing really those fights. Egregious considering both of the kills for Sentinels have come uh, off the back of those stingers. Twifo now needs to break down the wall. The time for stuff seems to be over. We have a 3v3 with Sentinels in the post plant. And they have good coverage over the site. Zom's at long range, gets rid of VCJ, and it's just stingers all the time. Sinatra is extremely stunned up there. Looks like he got hit with a flashpoint as well. Turret deploy, but Sinatra drops down on top of Twifo now. Showstopper should end the round, or it could end the round. Sinatra doesn't need anything fancy. Sinatra you know. Maybe a little bit of delay here. Will be four stagnating. Still probably, honestly, it doesn't look like it, but it might be an offense advantage here. Well, yeah, we did still doesn't know what's happening in mid. Like, I, I don't think XZ have enough information about what's no, doing. Never mind. <laughs> they wouldn't have pure at the B site still. They're not ready for this at all. And now Sentinels descend. Left. They starve XZ of that information, right? We did doesn't feel confident peeking down or pushing down mid. So now XZ are in a 2v4. Yeah, I kind of saw that happening for a second. I wasn't sure if the defense was a little bit more composed, they could have had it, but that's why I said it still looked offense friendly right there with the way they were positioned heaven and ready to scale. Sick and the rest of the boys and Sentinels just need to do the basics here and make sure they close this out here, set up some crossfires and be ready. Napper uncharacteristically slow on the trigger finger there. It doesn't matter too much as it's just we did. We don't. Sit down. Sinatra gets four in the round. And a rude awakening right potentially. Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh, yep. Uh, well, I'm glad there's no blood setting. I mean... <laughs> yes, that's right. I'd be, I'd be telling people to avert their eyes in uh, anticipation of that. We're in a three v three. BCJ gets to upgrade. I don't know why he does. I mean, he's getting the job done just fine with the Bucky. Okay, he's a lockdown here in the post plant. So Shazam has to hot foot his way over towards heaven. Zoms runs headlong into BCJ with his third kill of the round. Down to 20 HP, but still in position to cause a lot of problems. But Sick is ready. And now it is just up to Aaron. 21 HP and a Stinger. He gets the drop on Sick. Potentially a winning position, but it's such a strong spot to for Sujan to be playing from. And he has a proper weapon. That's another for Sentinel B Heaven. We have like a 1-3-1 one, one to start the round from Sentinels, right? And this is what they do. Oh, the default, no. they just find a pick. And now they'll start to lean more onto a certain part of the map. Fault line plays out, but the Sentinels aren't really bothered. Pure has to find something big here. Again, he's being called on to provide a big moment for the second consecutive round. Aaron gets the Natra, but six able to respond very quickly. And Pure, he gets nothing yet. The plate's out in next set. They're bringing all the big boy toys to the fight, but they're all getting thrown out the pram now. It's just we did in a 1v3 and just Bucky things, I guess, but 22 HP. I want to get info. He's not scared to stand in the open and hold these angles. And now Zombs. Did he stick it? Yep, he's back at the site now. Oh, we get the no. res, and it's a comfortable five versus three where they have the bomb site fully covered. Dapper doesn't need to do anything crazy here. He can just hold this angle. I mean, hey, heaven is dangerous enough as it is. And well, I mean, if Dapper didn't have it, Shazam probably would have. The trade is finally there. Pure is going to make his way from my heaven now, and that's the operator taken out of the hands of the jet. But the Sentinels still boast the better numbers, and Twifo. May have a lot of utility, but his position is very well known. He just has to go for a gigantic clutch. Sprays that corner down as he's aware that, well, I mean, they know where I am anyway, so I might as well try and get the drop on someone. Wall in the way. Tripwire also 
President Sinatra again, just waits. No reason for Sentinels to rush. <laughs> So he just drops on, on his head. What is this? Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Have this mid control. Maybe they're waiting on Daffer to find something. You can see he's actually starting to probe and lurk a little bit more towards that A side of the map. He presents his head as an option, and BCJ gladly takes it. The trade is there for Sinatra, but Sentinels are down to three players. They have mid. That's about it. Nice little shot there. All right, Sinatra. Show us the footwork. Sinatra. <laughs> I mean, I like that jiggle peek. If there's any gun barrel the that's thing. gonna give you away, it's probably that one. Soms gets rid of BCJ, but yeah, now Sentinels are sort of having to play around the extremities of their Viper's pit, and that's tough. Twifo catches Zoms out, and Kazam has a blade storm here, but I'll be inclined to spend that. Okay, now in a 1v1 situation, there's 12 seconds left in the round, but Shazam has to plunge towards the site. Gives it a tickle. We did just a wow. little too canny. They didn't really take advantage of anything beyond that. He already used the satchel, so. Sam tries to go on hide. That was the blade storm used there. We did. Says no. The mid definitely seems to be, uh, again, the objective for Sentinels. For the most part, playing inside the dark cover, but Sinatra is coming. We did says no to that as well. Not much of a yes man this round, but that's what X set want to see from him. And Pure will play the other side here with the operator. And did he leg him? I know almost looked like he might have hit sick in the foot. Yeah, I think he did. And then he gets the res off. 4v4. Neural theft as well. Okay. And looks like it's over towards A here. As Sentinels realize, wait a minute, the exit hold on A is only at the extremities. They're not on the site at all. We did again. Gets called up to do the dirty work for Xset, but he gets hit with a paranoia and then he gets put to bed. Dapper wants to go in towards screens here. Aaron can't really see anything. He's just going to try and dissuade this bomb plant here, the spike plant with a a locked out. Oh, okay, in the corner. This looks like a high school disco now. <laughs> Everyone's holding hands over in the corner there. Uh, oh my, that is Aaron, dirty. Uh, that is such Last a sick breach clear right there. I thought this was going to be over after Aaron missed the initial opportunity for, for his push to be main and given everything but be main to them right now. Sick, gonna get caught off guard here, does some damage. And no Sage on the offense here as they won't have the heal, but they do have the man advantage. I mean, when I said Xset play together, I didn't necessarily mean they'd literally become Voltron, like one unit that just moves, but it works well. <laughs> they get through the wall, they get onto the site, and Sentinels already down to just the three players to work with here. And uh, uh, Good luck to them, is what I have to say. BCJ, I'll get the spike down. Let's see what Sinatra gets done here. Paint Shell's obviously incredibly potent on pistol rounds like this, and the, uh, the shoulder peak from Aaron is, is primo. Okay, numbers, Sentinels, boys, Zoms in particular are going to have to do something special here to win the round right now. As he's wrapping around the site, doesn't know these guys are close behind the boxes. And is immediately just going to get tickling. Sees it's all happening. He's going to use the flash to try to get one kill. Opting to stay in the bomb site and frag out here. Depending on his angles here and how they peek, he's able to maybe get a couple frags. It's one. And, ooh, Shazam finds his way around the Viper ball there very smartly. And now it's a three versus two for Sentinels here as they're actually able to lock down a defense. Back to a two versus through. There's no spike plant yet. No spike plant yet as it's still sitting in the middle of the open here and Sinatra staying aggressive. I love that. Immediately taking ground from them and just making it such a difficult position by using angles properly. So again, hoping to at least give them like a, a cheeky backstab position, but Xset are taking their time here. They've got designs on the B side by the looks of things. Sick, there he goes. He gets to spring forth. He's able to heal himself up, but he didn't have any armor left and Sinatra actually lost out. So it's trade two for two in mid. Here comes a rolling thunder. That is aimed towards mid and mail room, but somehow Shazam gets out. Cover going down. Yeah, it doesn't really get them much. It gets them a little bit of space as they're going through heaven. But Sentinels is aware of this is Dapper's in a great position to get one and potentially two here. Does enough damage and delays long enough for Zom's nation to be able to come in and get another frag. Thwaifo in the 1v2 here. There's some potential to win this, but the bomb's in such an awkward position that he's got to climb elevation either via the stairs and the ladder, and they're going to be able to watch both quite easily from heaven. Wi-Fi will likely get two one versus ones. So that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a good thing because he's going to be running headlong into a close angle stinger. He wins that one out. Takes pretty limited damage, as a matter of fact. And now with the fault line, wants to push more. Pure with the knives out. No connection early on, tries to get up close to Sinatra, but is shut down. Sick has the off angle. The emphasis on mid for Xset here seems misguided because again, just in the same way as the last round, Sentinels have it locked down. 
Next up, I we're hoping to find something there. Maybe, you know, do a half sort of default with a bit of a forced buy. But they got nothing in. Well, Zoms gets rid of Thrifo, leaving Aaron all alone. Oh, that's so cheeky. That's so rude. Shooting out of the wall? Such a sick one way. I didn't even think that one still existed on Split. I know people used to do that quite a bit. Aaron knocks the wall out. I'm getting out of this position. Yeah, and, and he's got some support in the form of Shazam right now. And without having a smoke spawn, okay, that's just going to keep happening. And they're just giving him these opening kills. And as much as the Killjoy ult's going to help, it might be too little too late here. Unless Pure, I actually like this play here. It might be tough for him to get a kill, but he just needs to find some kind of an advantage. Because they have the site, but the site's not good enough when you don't have enough numbers. Yo! Oh, wow. What an awesome rocket jump there with the ult. But Pure able to take two and even it up in the dash is close. But not quite enough here and sick able to close out the last two kills there that was an epic that raise poses i mean except they're knee deep in danger right now match point here and they are caught position so if they're not careful they're going to run into the operator here but sentinels just has so much in the in, in the form of um abilities that old and look kidding. at sick with his red is saying listen i'm just gonna play aggressive and uh if he, he doesn't know but if he went through right now he would probably get some free kills um towards a heaven that's where exit are trying to go one left it's just pure against the world engagement but the same can be said of sentinels they don't quite know where pure is right now until now shazam sits up a one way just throws that cheeky cloud burst and that will be it sentinel